Hey guys, J19 brought to you another video. Yes, I am back for making more content. It's been a while. It's been almost a week. Um, I'm not through my jury duty yet, so still got to deal with all that. And I'm also going to be gone camping, like, the following weekend. So, like, I'm going to be gone for, like, 10 days. I'm going to be busy, but I figure I'll make a video for you guys. Talk about Monster Hunter 6. Why do I think Monster Hunter 6 is going to be massive? Why do you think Monster Hunter 6 is going to be, like, the big deal, right? I know a lot of people say, well, dude, we got Monster Hunter Rise, right? We got the final updates. Everybody's playing that game. Yes, that may be true, and it's on console, so that all the console players like Xbox and PlayStation can now enjoy it. But let's face it, majority of Monster Hunter fans, such as myself, like especially those of us that started with World, are looking for the next big thing. We're looking for a world-based type Monster Hunter, right? We're looking for a game that's going to like blow our minds, like Monster Hunter World did. Monster Hunter World... Yes, does it have some issues? Yeah, like, let's just, you know, it's got some flaws. But this game was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I really love how Monster Hunter World, like, introduced, like, new players to the, to the game. It wasn't hard at first. Like, it has some it has some walls in there, like, some monsters that really push you to your limits. It pushed me to my limits a couple of times. There's some monsters I can't beat on my own. I cannot, I can't solo. Um, but... This game, visually stunning, right? Game is fantastic with a lot of, a lot of friends, like helping randoms out. Um, just the monsters, the gameplay, amazing, right? So smooth, like, I'm going back through this game again. I'm in the Guiding Lands with a buddy of mine. You probably see him on my screen, uh, Ari, uh, if you can see the little video there. He's excited about Monster Hunter 6. I want to do like a podcast with them. Talk about what we want to see in Monster Hunter 6. What do we expect to see. But I'm going to put that on hold. Until I get through my jury duty stuff. Um, but. If anything drops. Which I know it's going to drop. Review for Monster Hunter 6. Why do you think Monster Hunter 6 is going to be massive so huge? The reason why I brought up World. Is because the gameplay. The visuals. The monsters. The represent representation of a Monster Hunter game on this magnitude of a scale. Monster Hunter Rise to me felt like it was a it was a big scale mainline game or whatever you want to call it. But it felt like it was a downgrade. It felt like it was a downgrade as far as visual representation. Because it's on the Switch first, right? And I think Monster Hunter 6 the reason why it's gonna be big, so massive, because Monster Hunter World and Iceborne were highly graded like 88 and 89. Metacritic scores. People absolutely had a ball with Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World became the best selling game in Capcom's history. Yes, I keep repeating this, but it's worth mentioning that Capcom's got high hopes for Monster Hunter 6 to do, is, to do is just that to sell millions at launch, to sell millions of copies before hitting the next physical year in April of 2024. When this game launches, they expect to sell millions. How do you do that? You follow the same exact thing you did with World, right? The, visualiz the visualization, the representation of the game. It's not going to be Monster Hunter World 2. I don't think they're going to call it that. It's going to be Monster Hunter something. Or may no, no, may they might say Monster Hunter 6. I, I think they want to stay away from the numbers. Game. What were they planning on doing? It's going to follow the same pattern, the same, what made Monster Hunter World so big, so epic, so massive. And to me, I think Monster Hunter 6 is going to take what Monster Hunter World did, learn upon it, and be even better. I would think that Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter 6, or Monster Hunter World 2, like some of you guys want to call it, and sometimes I say it as well, I think Monster Hunter World 2, Monster Hunter 6, it's gonna be that game where it's gonna like it's gonna make people go, yeah, Capcom, you are hitting the nail on the head, because with the engine they use, with the representation, the visualization, the monsters they use. Now, granted, I do want like new, new awesome monsters to fight. I want some unique ones. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise did do a fantastic job with that, which I still gotta beat. I still gotta get around to it, but man. I'm just so hyped. I'm so focused on thinking about Monster Hunter 6 
lately I had to make this video to talk about because the monsters, the gameplay, the story, like, even Iceborne's story, like, I know World was kind of basic. Iceborne had a little bit more, you know, character moments. I want to see them, like, take the story of Monster Hunter and make it even better. Take what Monster Hunter World and Iceborne did well and say, what areas do we struggle in? Maybe give the characters more, you know, backstory. Maybe we do some uh, hunts that are main part of the main story. But you give backstory to your characters, right? Give backstory. Maybe give our characters a voice. Give them, like, a little bit of a story. Like, maybe our hunter is, like, you know, I don't know exactly what kind of story they can have. But, for example, like, remember the handler? Everybody hates the handler. I hate I hate to bring her up because a lot of people hate her, hate her guts. But she had a, she had a thing thing, right? She, she was trying to find out. Why did we join the fifth fleet? Where do we come from? What's our backstory? Are we part of like a brotherhood? Are we part of like the thieves? Or like, are you guys like, she's trying to figure things out. And it will be cool if Monster Hunter 6 can take our character we control and have like a story about that. I have a story where it's like, what's our deal? Why did we join the, the sixth fleet? Whatever they're gonna call it. Why do we join the uh, research commission? Why are we in a new world? What's our take? Why are we doing what we're doing? Where, where do we come from? Like, I would love to have like a, a story of a monster hunter we're controlling. And it's like, it'd be great. It'd be great to have because they would make, it would take monster hunter to the next step. Because let's face it, Capcom knows how to make story games. They did with Resident Evil. Resident Evil has a good story. Like people love the story and the character. What if monster hunter takes that next step? They can do that with uh, Monster Hunter World 6, or Monster Hunter World 2, Monster Hunter 6. You guys know what I mean. I get those words twisted up now. But, like, I would love to see that, right? So this is why I think it can be a massive game, a massive mainline title that people just go, whoa. Like, Monster Hunter World is, like, this it was that big, that huge, and, and Camp Gun just made a bigger banger. Bigger banger. That's what I want to see. I want to see Capcom take the next step. Rise was fine for Switch and PC. And finally came on consoles to give us something to play. But I'm playing World. I rather play World on Rise. Rise is the, the, the representation or whatever they want to call it. Presentation. Just, it didn't hit me. World hits me. Iceborne hits me. A lot of people probably agree that World was such a big, massive, mainline title. Capcom took a risk, guys. If I remember correctly, Capcom didn't have a global launch of any Monster Hunter, right? Sometimes they made a Monster Hunter for the West. A lot of times it was, a, it was like made for Japan for only, like Asia. Then it came over to the United States finally. Monster Hunter World was a globally launched, successfully launched title. That became the best-selling game of all time in Capcom's history, for a reason. I cannot wait for Monster Hunter 6. I am really hyped for it, and you guys are going to see me lose my mind when they show the review trailer. When pre-orders go live, I'm pre-ordering the game. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about Monster Hunter 6. Are you guys as excitingly hyped as I am? Are you guys kind of like, meh, I like Rise better? I would love to hear what you guys have to say about Monster Hunter World. Did you guys play it? Do you guys love it? Do you guys enjoy it? Because I can't wait for Monster Hunter 6, guys. It's going to be a banger. It's going to be a hit. And I cannot wait for the result of the review. I might see people flip out when they see it. Because game's coming out in like six, what, six months. So by the end of March, we're going to get this game. We might get it early. And the only issue I have, what if they launch that game when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? And I gotta, I gotta try to find time to play both. Like, like, oh my goodness. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys for today. Let me know how hyped you are for Monster Hunter 6. Do you guys, do you guys agree with some of my, some of my thoughts on this and my feelings on Monster Hunter 6? Do you guys think it's gonna be a massive, a big massive explosive game that's gonna rival Monster Hunter World? Or do you guys not really hype for it? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. With that said, be safe out there. Be nice to each other. I have more videos in the works. 
on and off uh, throughout the next 10 days. And once we get full steam ahead for Tokyo Game Show, expect content for me from Monster Hunter 6. As we get more information, uh, trailer reactions, everything. I just, I want to break this down. I'm really hyped for Monster Hunter 6. And uh, yeah, with that said, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be safe out there. Be nice to each other. Enjoy some gaming. I'll be back in the next video. Take care.